Shana, pineapple. <laughs> when she says she named on the gram, check her out. Let's see what I want. Welcome to our back to the channel. I'm Shauna. Today I'm going to walk off to clear two barrels and I'm taking you guys along with me to see what the process is like and all that jazz. If you guys haven't checked out my previous video when I pack and ship two barrels to Jamaica, please to do so. That was a hot mess, okay? At this point, I'm convinced I don't know how to pack a barrel, but they're here. Today I'm going to clear them. Come along with me, see what the process is like, the costs, all that. If everything that I sent in the barrel get here in one piece, because I did make a few mistakes when I was packing the barrel, but I pray to God that everything is, you know, everything is Gucci in the barrel. If you guys haven't checked that video out, please do so. Remember to subscribe, comment, like this video, and let's go see what what the shipping is like, the shipping company. The barrel took three weeks to get here, which is not bad because according to everyone, blaming, why is this toll so noisy? According to everyone, blaming things are, you know, shipping slow these past days, all that jazz got here within three weeks, so not bad. Enough money, they are not flying the barrier. You need to have toll. You need to have toll on your cars. The the easy pass thingy, so you can just fly through. Well, if you have a tag, you need to top it up with some money because obviously there's no money on it. Somebody got a green light to go.
land. Look, him land. I am correct. I'm always correct. See him, him land. Look, guys, him just land. Okay, now I stop, man. Don't know no. Oh, the new road they built recently, right? We got um, three miles. clearing the barrel, the barrel with custom so I contact them pre-clear the barrel so I can buy time for them to pre-clear the barrel for me and I do swimming class throughout that time so once I'm done swim class I can go and the barrel will be ready that also um, it's more stress-free for me because they are gonna do most of the pre-clearing the paperwork and all that just so I'm just here you know improving on my lifestyle learning how to swim then i'm back on my route on my journey to get the barrel done so i'm basically taking you guys along with me throughout the day so it's a daily vlog a day in the life vlog come along with shauna see what's going on so i'm here getting my lesson done i am all ready to go the water seems cold today because it's not the sun is not shining and the breeze is pretty nice, pretty cool. So today seems that the water is gonna be cold, man. Yeah, I'm ready. Some of the portion over here very rough. Another 
another day to improve myself one day closer to my accomplishments an hour and 10 minutes of a swimming class my hair is soaking wet my hairstyle is all gone but today class was a success I did way better than the last time today I was doing I was kicking I'm blowing bubbles. Hey, I'm part of myself in the same boat. Bubbles in the water. Can't believe that. Yes. No bubbles. But we're back on journey, back on schedule, getting things done. Okay. We are now on. Where are we, Mister? Maxfield Avenue. <laughs> Going to the shipping company. So as I was explaining earlier, that yes, Maxfield Park. That's Maxfield Children's Home. You ever think about getting, um, like, giving back to children's home? You ever think about it before? What about that? So why not do it? Yeah, they do it. No, no, you should cook and give homeless people. Yeah, what about that? Usually carry things come back to children. Really? Yep. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm ashy. I am super ashy. I need to pack a swim bag in the daytime. I need to pack one. I'm going to use my backpack and pack my proper swim bag. I need lotion. I'm ashy. My makeup is all gone. You can see my pimples and all. But we are back on schedule. Lira is so smart, right? He's like, why not you ask them to, you know, pre-clear it and pay the money instead of going there spending a half day or spending the entire day to clear the barrel by myself. So that's what we did. So we can, you know, pay for that service. I did not plan my morning properly so I could get to go to swim class while they are pre clearing the barrel. So as we would say in Jamaica use one stone kill two birds and that's what we did today. You have some lotion on it sweet up sweet up. Look at my when I am still my ashy, I need lotion. Okay. What about the sun? Make it dry. It wet. Stop flashing. I can't wash. You can't want to wash. <laughs> my hair is soaking wet. Be a pin cemetery. Oh, do you call me a pin cemetery? See, that's all. Right. You see it by the side of it. You see it. Then be like, oh, so over there. Oh, there's a. There's a funeral going on. It's a funeral, right? But that's not an earth. It's a earth. It's not an earth. The man who's in one and turned into an earth. He can be some of me. I'm going to tell you something. Conclusion that 
packing and unpacking barrel is not my road that's not my road to go down i just finished unpacking one barrel over here that had the soap oils a couple tin stuff all that jazz and it was chaos i had to just take a shower get myself back together because i was so pissed that was literally a, i should show one of the soft lawn spill in the barrel and mess up so many stuff i had sheets set in there and um curtains for the window and i had to literally just now put a load in the washer to wash those brand new sheets and brand new curtains because of the softener that spilled okay just not my thing someone comment on my previous video when i was packing the barrel sharing her concerns and her you know tips like next time don't put soap with a couple items all that jazz baby girl i'm here to tell you my dear thank you for the comment and you are so correct a couple of my stuff were damaged because it wasn't damaged the soft lawn spill over the soft lawn spill over on a couple items i had to throw away some of the cornflakes cereal all that jazz packing bar is just not for me okay or i learned maybe it's not for me or because i haven't packed a barrel in the past four or five years because before i used to do a good job of packing the barrel so i just don't get what's going on with this barrel i packed barrels so many times i did a very good job but for some reason this time just didn't work out so on to the next barrel i'm hoping and praying that this one right here well, this one had a couple of my containers that I will be using. This one has a couple of containers, so I'm open and praying that the containers are not damaged. I don't think this bar, if I remember clearly, really have anything to spill in it, but let's see. These are some bouncy. This is good, then spill. So far, so good. I've been waiting on this forever. It took so long to get here. So I guess this barrel is good. No spirit so far. Mm -hmm. Most important stuff in this barrel is um my containers to get my stuff done so my containers the machines that i put in the barrel and the tools that's in the bottom of this barrel so from in the middle and everything is intact Every, nothing is damaged in this barrel but the first barrel shauna cannot pack a barrel okay we can't do it it's not from me not from me at all but so far so good this is just my containers a couple stuff and yeah i cannot pack a barrel at all i can't i cannot do it i'm sorry so sweaty i am right here so sweaty it's a wrap guys but this is just a quick um you know unpack the barrel to see what's damaged and all that jazz and my dear um viewer or subscriber that comment on my video sweetheart you are so right so so right you are so right i'm hot i'm sweaty so i'm gonna put all this madness all this chaos away i'm gonna give this stuff to their owner and thank you guys for watching i see you guys next time please remember to like comment subscribe Leave your respectful comments down below. Follow me on Instagram at Lastina Pineapple. Until next time.